take one foot forward. We're going to, I have my left foot forward. I have my right foot almost kind of under the chair. I'm going to hinge forward, stick my butt out, and then I'm going to come asymmetrical. And then I'm going to sit back down. So this might even be easier for most people. Asymmetrical stance, although you're loading one leg way more than the other, See, see what's showing up, right? So hinging, you're going to push off the back toes and you're going to shift your knee over the second and third toes and then you're going to come up. And we're going to sit back down. And this is also really nice now for deceleration, for controlling your sit. Shift and push. Slight bend in your left knee, front foot, leg, right? That's very important, again, to not lock it out. Now, maybe you're just doing little curtsies. You might not go and sit down. You might just touch slightly your bum, your hamstrings to your chair. Keep your kidneys back. Soften the shoulders. Look down. Try not, again, to look forward. We're going to really challenge this, maybe sitting all the way down or just tapping. One more time. Next time you come up, squeeze the shoulder blades together slightly. Keep your sits bones back. Take your kidneys back. Push the back toes down into the floor and then lift your heart. We've done this sitting. This is our cow spine. And it's not really crazy hyperextended. I'm working super hard on my obliques to not spill and open all of this up. My buttocks is working. My legs are both working. Quad hamstrings a lot. And I'm going to lift my heart. And maybe you're just looking straight ahead. Looking up to the ceiling or looking behind you is going to be much harder and it's going to mess with your balance way more. Let's do the other side. So right foot is in front, left foot is under the chair or bench. Make sure you have your alignment, slight medial rotation against so second and third toes are your midline where your knee is supposed to be. I'm gonna stick my butt out. I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna pull with my left foot and with my right foot, left toes, right foot. And I'm gonna find a little up and I'm gonna sit back down and a little up. This is a really good way. If you feel you can't get up out of the chair like this, do it like this. You're gonna have a little more mobility here. And that pushing off the back toes is your assist. It's a really, really good assist. And a hinge, sits bones back, kidneys back, push. And sits bones back, release. Hinge and push. And hinge. And release. Two more. And then we can actually just stay here and do little curtsy squats. Sits bones back, kidneys back. And then it's really up to you and your body. How far down can you go? Stabilizing your spine is hard. This is why everybody wants to work abdominals. Most people don't even know how to stabilize their spine. That's what they do. Very good. One more time. Let's go down. Hinge. Kidneys stay back. Find your belly. Shift a little forward. Push with your back toes. Pull with the front foot. Sit bones stay back, kidneys stay back, squeeze the shoulders, lift your heart. Maybe lift your chin, but 
No pushing forward of the hip. You got to go keep your sits bones back. Pull the feet down into the floor and lift your heart up. Maybe squeeze your shoulders and release. Very good.